Today I'm in Coventry outside Exactoform and I'm going to learn how Hymer has helped these stay top of their game and deliver time and time again for their customers. John, today we're at Exactoform, a true UK manufacturing success story, but in your own words, can you tell us a little bit about the company? Uh, I started Exactoform, believe it or not, uh, 40 years ago. I'd rented an optical profile grinder because I was a time-served uh, engineer. I soon bought my own machines and we grew quite big manufacturing inserts. So we decided four years ago that we were growing to such an extent that we needed a purpose-built factory. As you can see, we've designed it ourselves, we've got it fully air-conditioned, uh, we are now the biggest independent polycrystalline diamond manufacturer in the UK. I would suggest your, your growth, obviously the finances are important, but it's the, the technology and the knowledge you've got within the building that's actually got you here today. Absolutely, it's getting the team together that you train for specific purposes. 90% of the staff we've got, we've trained. Uh, we've got three apprentices at the moment, but apprenticeships are the future. You have to look after them because the big boys come in and snap them up and we look after them. So, John, to get to a company of this scale, partnerships are important, aren't they? Partnerships are very important. We have 11 Volmers, which were the backbone of our production. Lasers were coming on the market. I could see it was the future. So we went to DMG. But the big thing that's made the breakthrough from us all their tools are balanced and I looked at the market and the best machine uh, for balancing and the easiest machine that you can train people on is the Hymer. Dean, partnerships are very important for Exactoform. You know, how do you work with Hymer? As John referred to earlier, Joe, we work very closely with a number of partners, Hymer being one of them. We find it's important now in the marketplace that we're in where we're chasing microns on a lot of the components that we're machining. And in order to achieve that, we needed to have the right equipment. We've recently bought this Hymer shrink machine that goes alongside the Hymer balance machine we have over in the corner. Together with those two things, when we, we, we put tools together, we use the best shrink machine technology, the most up-to-date machine technology, and also the balancing machine, so that we ensure that when the customers are chasing those tolerances, that that's what we achieve. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's uh, important to uh, note, you haven't just gone and bought a shrink machine here, this is, uh, this is arguably the, the, the premium, the better machine in the marketplace at the moment. This is all industry for con uh, connected, it's all ready, so you can, the data this produces, you can follow around the shop floor. I think, again, as John referred to earlier, we're, we're very big in investments in technology within the company. With this machine, we can link it to the network, where when going forward to customers, we can provide the traceability of our tooling. So when a customer has a tool, we know exactly where it's come from, what data was manufactured, what machine it was made on. We can do all that traceability back, which is really important in the industries that we're working in. And you mentioned balancing. A lot of uh, PCD tooling is going on aluminium, uh, carbon fiber. RPM is very, very high. So how important is a balanced assembly? You can't overstate the importance of the balanced assemblies. When you're looking at machines nowadays, especially for machine in aluminium, some of the surface speeds that we can get up to for machine in aluminium, it's outstripping what the machines are capable of. If you can imagine running your car, your, your, your car wheel, I think at like maximum of 1400 reps, you wouldn't even dream of having an unbalanced car wheel. And when you're looking at machines now that are capable up to like 60,000 RPM, but nowadays standard between 15 and 20,000 RPM, you put in a, if you put an unbalanced assembly in that, not only are you going to, you're not going to achieve the tolerances, the surface finish, the, the integrity of the part that you're aiming for, but you're also going to ruin your spindle. So it's, 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 it's just a massive integral part of what we do. And back to the string fit machine, how easy is it to use? I know we've got barcode scanners, QR codes, things like this, and you can even implement chips. How, but how straightforward is it from an operator's perspective? In, in, terms of, in terms of how easy it is to use, when you just pick up that barcode scanner, you scan the code that's on the tool holder, it tells you where to move the coil. You move the coil, you bring it down for the prescribed amount of seconds, and it's that simple. It really, really is that simple. There's, there's a number of different options that we did look at, a number of different companies that do shrink machines. This is by far and away the easiest and simplest to use. And if we look at the package as a whole, so we're shrinking the tool, we're balancing the hole, 
you know, how important is that? What impact is that on the machine and process? What we're chasing here a lot of the times, we're, we're making tools here on these laser machines down here that are chasing two and three microns. If you didn't have a balanced assembly, if you didn't have it in a shrink fit holder, if you didn't have it in the right holder in the first place, then there's absolutely no point going to the lengths of having those machines down there, making the tools so accurately, and then not putting them in the right assembly, because you'll be forever chasing variables. This stuff eliminates variables. We're also using this with this DMG machine behind us that we bought. This was an integral part of it, because we're developing our own range of tooling. And in order to do that, we need to take out all the variables. So we've got a Kistler dynamometer on here. We've got the Heimer shrink machine. We've got the balance machine. We take out all the variables so that we know what we're testing is just the tool. And you've got the full suite of Heimer products in here. That, that, that's important to point out. But what they like to work with is the people, the actual business, you know, the, the, the sales and support and things like this, the aftercare. Oh, look, the, the, the aftercare is sensational. The guys that work there are all pretty well. You can't fault them in terms of the way that they respond to you. They actually reminded us that we needed a service on the balance machine. So that was done a couple of weeks ago. And Anne-Marie kind of rang me and said, do you realise while, while this was being installed, we can do your service for you as well? So it's just the added value that they offer to you. It's not a one-off purchase. They stick close to you afterwards. <laughs>